Hey everybody, Mike with Nissan Automotive here in Kingsville, Texas. Welcome back to the Extra Mile with Mike. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of my next video. Today we're gonna to be going over the Chevy Blazer. I've got one pulled up front. Let's jump right in. All right, so starting off at the front, we've got the 2021 Chevy Blazer RS. So if you'll notice, we've got the RS badging with the black Chevy bow tie and the black front, front grille on there. You've got your fog lights and aggressive front headlights. Coming around to this side, you also notice you've got your uh, front camera up at the up at the front that's going to allow you to see right in front of you uh giving you more view and uh and, and safety when you're moving forward you can check what's in front of you we've got the black high gloss painted wheels with the chevy emblem your black uh blazer logo here on the side this is keyless entry so you can have that in your pocket your purse whatever it, wherever you want it within one to two feet of the vehicle you can press that and then you're in the vehicle uh coming around to the back here we have got the RS badging in the back, another black bow tie, and a couple different camera views here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the back hatch so y'all can see, we can just double tap here. It's gonna come up nice and easy. This is the storage on the Chevy Blazer. If you haven't seen one already, it has got an excellent amount of storage with back lighting, as well as levers here to drop these seats down. Super convenient. And then underneath, You've got your spare, you've got a jack, and some other storage places you can put extra stuff if you need be, so like ponchos or whatever you may need. All right, so we're gonna back on out. We're gonna hit that button again. It's gonna come right down. On this side, I'll show you what the back passenger space looks like. Very spacious on the inside of the Blazer. Now, what I love about the RS is gonna be the, the stitching. You've got red stitching, perforated leather with a red on like a, it's it's like a leather underneath the coat so you get that stylish look uh, to go along with the Camaro inspired blazer and so we're gonna sit this seat up and take a look at what we got back here we've got rear AC a USB C a USB A and then a 120 volt outlet all right so let's take a look take a look up at the front like I said the the blazer is Camaro inspired and we've actually got heated seats in the back too. It's right there on the door. So looking at this one, we've got our estimated fuel economy of 22 combined highway and city. 27 on the highway alone. Coming up to the front, we've got your memory seating, uh, lock controls, window controls, and mirror controls. It is equipped with Bose audio. And this is another way to open that back hatch. And you can even hit it to three, three quarters and set the, the height that you want. Uh, for to raise up for those of you that have a garage i know i've, I've got one and uh it's been been a while since i've had something with a lift gate but that would have been really convenient for me to kind of set that height so i don't have to worry about it hitting the top of my garage so looking at the dash here we've got our we've got our cruise control settings here our heated steering wheel forward collision on this side, we have our hands-free system as well as your uh, navigation for the, the heads-up display here, or the little uh, the HUD, as I like to call it, or the dash. We can go through all these different settings here. My favorite one's gonna be speed. Once I got used to seeing my speed digitally, it's kind of like a watch. Once you get a digital watch, it's kind of hard to go back to analog. So looking at this, Camaro-inspired vents, you adjust them like that, and you can close them, open them. Just like on the Camaro, we've got our automatic light control, parking brake, and then this controls the brightness of the dash here during uh, nighttime. So it is going to be pushed to start. We've got a button right up top here. Uh, the fuel saver here is going to be the auto stop start. You can toggle that off and it's going to be auto stop off, auto stop on. For those of you who like it, those of you who don't, you've got an option there. Uh, looking at here, Camaro inspired, you've got the temperature control here. You can see it changes digitally as you rotate it. Uh, direction control, you can close it, open it as well as dual climate. So you can do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to low and then we'll hit the sync button to match both sides. And then you've got your USB-C, your USB-A and wireless charging pad right down here. Uh, looking right here on the dash, you've got your shifter with the RS badging and that red stitching. Uh, so that red stitching and that red accenting is uh, prominent throughout the vehicle to give you that sporty and, and Camaro-like feel. We're looking here. You've got your parking sensors, your lane keep assist here. 
not only that, you've got, I'll rotate that, snow mode. I'll rotate it again. Now we're on sport mode. And then now we are on tow haul. So tow haul, there's a little cover in the back uh, you can remove and you've actually got towing capability. So we'll rotate that back to tour mode. That way we've got that all set up. Now looking at the display here, we've got the Chevy Infotainment System 3. You got your audio, your phone, your navigation, the Wi-Fi hotspot for up to the 50 feet from the vehicle connects up to seven devices, different user profiles. My favorite, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Moving over here, we have got your climate control, so you can adjust it here, or you can adjust it down there, whichever's uh, convenient for you. You've got your cameras, like I was talking about. We'll close my door here. There, now we got view on that side. So the camera views are amazing. So we're looking at the back here, now we're looking at the front, and that's what's parked right in front of me. I can see right in front of my bumper, and it's got a top view here, that way I can see everything around me. We'll go back to the back here. This is gonna be the rear view, top down. So you can actually see as you back up, and it will change as I rotate the wheel. And this outer line here, that is gonna tell me that if I whip around too quickly, I'm gonna hit that wall. It's gonna show me the projected travel of my the front of my vehicle. So they put a lot into this to keep you guys safe, and we've got the same for the front. I can see exactly where I'm gonna go. This is helpful because we have this parked up at the front of the dealership, so we gotta take it off a little ramp. So we actually use this to see if we're gonna hit that ramp nice and easy. Look in here, we've got our back uh, tires here. I can see what's next to my tires as well as I can see what's next to my front tires, how they're rotating on either side. This is one of my favorites if you're gonna be trailering. It's got the top down view. You, this would be right where that ball is so you can line up that trailer every time. And we're coming back to the front here. So now we'll go to the back. You've got your uh, parking assist. It'll show you exactly where you're going. And you've got a direct line to help you line up that ball before you get to this point, looking straight down at it. So we'll go back there. And then we'll go back over here to put that back. Now we can look, we can turn off the top down. We can toggle that back on. So there are plenty of camera options to keep you safe out there and, and make your life easier. Uh, so looking at the My Chevrolet, we've got the My Chevrolet app here and then the Sirius XM app as well. And if we scroll over twice, we are back to our home page where it shows me my phone, uh, what's playing right now, and my navigation. Um, so right now, as soon as I turn the vehicle on, also, it turned on the cooled seating. So I'm, it's feeling very nice in here. Uh, the, the seats are cooling off. That's one of the great things about it. When you remote start this vehicle, you can have it set to turn the heat, the heated seats on if it's cold outside. But this is Texas, let's be real. So we can turn the cooled seats on to cool that leather off for you so it's nice and cool when you hop on in. Uh, so that covers the, the interior and, and the front here. If there's a feature that you liked and you'd like more information on, feel free to leave a comment down below uh, or you can reach me in any of my contact methods. Uh, I can go over that. There's a bunch of cool features I probably didn't touch on, like the garage door uh, slash front gate opener, OnStar. Uh, one of my personal favorites is the digital rear view. Uh, you control the brightness. You can zoom out to show more of it. That eliminates your blind spots. Uh, so you don't got to worry about uh, John or uh, or little little Johnny's head being in the way of your center center mirror there anymore. You can see right past it. And if you want if you want the basic, you can go right back to it. Uh, so yeah, if there's a feature I, I didn't cover that you'd like more information on or if there's something you like but I didn't quite go too in-depth on it, leave it down in the comments below or reach out uh, via the contact information in the description. I'd love to do a video for you um, and, and get you that information that you need in, in a more personalized and in-depth video on that one. Uh, so if you've enjoyed today's video, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you're ready for my next video. I upload Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, when I find the time, the car business is very busy, but I want to make sure I keep that schedule for you guys. Um, other than that, this has been Mike with uh, with a vehicle walk around on the 2021 Chevrolet Blazer. I hope you enjoyed. Have a blessed day.